So here we have a blank map which we're going to create ourselves. We've got the compass rose that tells us directions like north and south, west and east. We've got an area for a title so we can name the title of this map. This is obviously an island here, so we'll probably give it a name that goes with the island. And we've got a blank key or legend here. This is where we're going to need to think of what we want to put on our island and then put a little picture here and a word telling us what that picture is so that when we see the picture here, we know what it is. Now, if you're unable to print this map off of our website, this is one that's fairly easy to create yourself. Just need a blank piece of paper of any size. Maybe have something to trace as a circle. And your ruler for some lines. That'll make the compass rows. Label it north and south. West over here, east. Put other lines in if you want, make it fancier. And we can draw our legend or key down here. There we go, that gives us plenty of room to draw pictures and to write the words of what the pictures stand for. And then you can just sort of freehand any shape of an island. Make sure we leave some room maybe for a title, what the name of our map or our island is going to be. And there we go, we've created our own quick map with the compass rows, our island, space for a title, and for the key to be able to write our words and our pictures for what's going to appear on the island as symbols. Easy as that. And really you can use any kind of paper for that. There's even specialty paper that you can buy at some arts and crafts stores or order through Scholastic, where it looks sort of a bit like old fashioned mapping paper. You could create a map on something that's specialty paper as well. Here we have an example of a map made on one of those specialty pieces of paper. But really your map can be created on anything. Let's take a look at a few real maps though first. So here's a map designed for kids on Vancouver City. Now this map doesn't have a key or a legend, but it does have pretty clear pictures and lots of writing that tells you what things are. You can see a bus here, BC Place Stadium where football is played. We can see Chinatown down here. We can see there's a little sea bus going over here. We can see that the aquarium in Stanley Park where the totem poles are here. We can see that here's Vanier Park where it's got the planetarium and the Maritime Museum. Lots of different areas where there's things that we can see that are named on here and the pictures are quite well drawn. Like there's uh, Science World right there. Lots of things just drawn with pictures. Easy enough to tell what the map's trying to show us. There is a title to the map. No compass rose though. Let's take a look at another map. Here we have a map of a much smaller area. This map is just showing us a park. This is a Japanese garden down in Portland, Oregon. And again, very easy to see what's being shown on the map. Buildings, a pond, pathways. There is a little bit of a key here. It says the red dots represent drinking fountains. The darker red dots represent the restroom and the gift store. Okay, there it is there. And the blue dot represents where handicapped parking can happen in the parking lot. So there's a little bit of a key, but again, most of this map is pretty easy to see what a tree is, what a trail is, what the buildings are, where the paths away, pathways are. Fairly easy. There are some numbers on that, and that corresponds with the rest of this pamphlet. 
where you can see that each letter or each number tells you about something specific in the garden. There are some letters and numbers on this map as well and that corresponds to the rest of the brochure where I can look up and I can find out what does letter A stand for, what does letter B stand for, what does number 1 show, what does number 2 show, and so on. So I get more detail through the writing that's in the pamphlet than what's just on the map. And let's take a look at one more map. This is a map of Galliano Island. I know that because the map has a title. Also have a bigger area with less detail. So I can't see every tree. I can't see where there might be pathways. I can see some things that make sense. This is a road. And like our other brochure, there are some letters, A, B, C, and they tell me what those A, B, C things mean up here. But there is a key. There's a little question mark. That means tourist information booth. I can find that on the map. Shows me a little ferry boat, and that says that's where BC Ferries is, so I can look to find out where BC Ferries comes in. Oh, there it comes. Tells me if I'm looking for a restroom, I can look for this little orange sign with two people on it. Tells me where there might be a charging station if I'm driving an electric car. Tells me where the campsite can be found. Here's that symbol for campsite, that white triangle. And I can look and I can see there's a campsite area. Oh, here it is, campsite. So I know now I can get off the ferry and follow some roads to get to the campsite. It tells me where the RCMP are, tells me there's a skate park and a playground and even a library on this island and I can find it through the key and looking on the map of the island itself. So now that I'm looking at my blank map of this island, I have to decide what I want to put on it. I'll use my pencil to be able to put a few things on first, so I need my name at the top. I think I'm going to call this island Green Island. So I'm going to give it a title, Green Island. Now I know what island I'm looking at. I'm looking at Green Island. That's a made-up island. Now, what do I want on my island? I think I want some buildings. I'm going to show buildings, houses, and buildings with a square. I'll put the word building in here. I think I want to show roads. Roads will be a double line. So roads. I think I'd like to show a forest, so I think I'll draw something that looks like trees. A whole bunch of trees together would be a forest. That might be found in a park. I think I'm going to draw some dots that I'll probably color yellow, and I'll say that represents a beach. A beach. I think my island might have some mountains. I might have an image like that to show mountains. And maybe I'll have a ferry boat terminal because it is an island. So maybe I'll have a boat. And I'll say this is the, the ferry. And probably we'll want a, a river. Probably do that line in blue, because blue represents rivers. And I think maybe we'll have a lake on the island as well. I could add other things. I've only got room for eight things here in my key or my legend. But we'll start with that. So let's see. I think I might like a nice beach along here. So this is going to be where I'll put my beach. And yeah, maybe I'll put a, a beach over on this side of the island as well. And I think I might make my town go in here, so I'll put in some buildings like houses. Again, I don't have to draw the whole house, I don't have to draw roofs. I'm just going to draw some buildings in here. 
maybe some more over here. And then maybe we'll have the, the ferry terminal. Uh, maybe we'll put the ferry terminal over here. So I'll draw the boat that I want to represent as the ferry terminal. Have the dock coming out like that. Let's see, I think up in this area, might have some mountains. And coming out of the mountain, probably have a river. And maybe off to the side of the river here, might be a nice big lake. Maybe the river will flow into that lake as well. And we'll put a forest over here. Let's see, I've got buildings, I've got my forest, I've got my beach, I've got my mountains, my ferry, my river, and my lake. Hmm, I need a road, don't I? So maybe we better have a road that comes from the ferry terminal. Comes into town. Yeah, maybe we better make the road also go out towards the lake. Make a parking lot area here. A bridge. And yeah, we can make some hiking trails. Maybe a hiking trail that goes around the lake. And maybe we can put a, a road that would take us to the beach. And maybe we'll make another road that goes over to this beach. Put a parking lot area in here. So lots of this area is covered by forest. We've got some mountains over here. And we'll put some more trees in here. We've got a town in here with lots of houses or cabins, a ferry terminal that comes in, and a couple of beaches. And I can use my legend here to tell me what each thing is on the island. Maybe you're gonna add some of the same things or maybe you're gonna add different things. Maybe you'll have an airport or maybe you'll have some caves or some interesting hills. There we go. Now, my map has a legend, it has features, it has a name, if 
put my name up on there. I've got a compass rose to tell me what's in the direction. So I know I've got mountains in the north of my island. I know I've got a town here on the south part of my island. I know there's a lake sort of in the northwest end of my island. I know there's another beach over here in the southwest of the island. All right. So I can tell where things are on the map from the compass rose. My map is missing one really important thing, and that is some color. So I'm going to color my map in. I'll speed up the film though, and you guys can add some color to your map. Oh wow, that map already looks so much better with some color. And I can see that there's a couple things maybe I need to add as well. I'm going to put a number 9 in here and I'm going to put that dotted line and let everyone know that that's my trail. There's a trail that goes around the lake and down to the beaches. All right. And then because the map has color, we also want to make sure that the key matches. So I made my buildings pink on the map, so I'm going to make it pink there. And I outlined my roads with a black, so I'm going to make sure that, that pops off the page here. Outline there. Of course my trees were green. For the forest, I made my beach yellow for the sand. I made my mountains brown. I did the ferry boat in a blue. The rivers were blue. lake was blue. And the trail was a dotted red line. And now I have a finished map and a finished key for Green Island. What are you going to draw?
on your map. 